Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a review um, on EOS lip balms. I have all of mine with me because um, I'm a loser and I don't really know why the need was that that was really bad speaking. I don't know what the need for me to bring that was a bad sentence too. I just I don't know why I need to bring them all but I guess I did. Um, but basically I'm going to be giving a review on them because I know a lot of people like there's a lot of controversy on them. It's either like you love them or you hate them. Like I've never heard someone just be like okay with them. And obviously, since I have like all the colors and like duplicates of the colors, um, you can tell that I really like them. First of all, what I really liked about them was obviously their packaging. I think it, it's just really cute. And it's something that would be easily like findable, I guess if that's a word, um, in your purse. By the way, I'm sorry that this lighting is washing me out, but there's like the sun like over there, so it's like on my face. Anyway, um, so the packaging is obviously really cute and looks like an Easter egg, which is what like drew me to it. And then also, if you look here, I'll show you more of a newer one so you can see what like the new ones look like. Um, they're obviously just like really cute, like little balls of like chapstick, like. I don't know. Really cutesy, like, little things like this, like, really, like, I don't know. It gets me. Like, the packaging gets me more than, like, the product. Um, also, what I really like about them is that they're, like, organic and paraben-free and cruelty-free or whatever. So that's always, like, a plus side. And they're not, like, super expensive, um, which is always good. And they come in um, four different colors, which means they're, like, four different... I don't know if you call them scents. Like, flavors. flavors. Yeah. Um, this one, I don't really know the names, but I, I think I know them. This one, I think, is in Summer Fruit. It's just the, um, the little kind of reddish one. And, um, this one just smells, I don't know, kind of like, some kind of, like, summery drink that you'd kind of drink, like, fruity, just like it says. Um, then this one, I feel like, um, I feel like this one's called Honeydew or something. It does, it smells just like, kind of like a really light, yeah, it smells like honeydew, it does, honestly, if you've ever smelled it. It's kind of honey-y, but kind of fruity at the same time, a little bit like cantaloupe. Um, and then this one, I don't really know the name, but it's mint. It's the blue one. Um, this one smells really minty, and I actually, I really like this flavor. And then there's the, I think it's called, okay, there's a really big B. Um, I think it's called, like, lemon drop or something, and obviously, ooh, wait. Yeah, lemon drop. It says it on the bottom. See, this one says it on the bottom, but the rest don't. That's so weird. Anyway, um, and then that one. This one smells like lemons, but not like straight up lemon, more like a lemon with like, um, not like lemon, but more like lemonade because it has like a sweeter smell to it. Um, I just have duplicates. I have two of the lemon drop and two of the honeydew, um, just because my mom got them for me for dance camp as like one of my presents because she gave me like little presents like every day. And um, those were one of my presents, just because I like them so much. Um, I'll show you the one that's probably the smallest and probably the biggest, so you can tell that they wear down, but not that easily. Okay, so now since I've kind of showed them to you guys, I'm going to basically just get on to the review. Um, I think overall this is like obviously a really good product because I have so many of them. Um, I think that they're really moisturizing to your lips, and not only are they moisturizing, like, they give you, like, some chapsticks, you know what I mean? They leave kind of like a filmy, like, if you put too much on or whatever, it leaves like a weird filmy, like, layer yeah. over your goo. Yeah, like, goo over your lips. And this, like, when you put it on, it, like, would make them look a little bit glossy, but not, like, some nasty, like, goo or whatever on your lips and I think they're super moisturizing. Um, a lot of people say that they're not that moisturizing. I mean they're not like some crazy product that's like oh my gosh my lips have like completely changed from them but they're moisturizing. It's not like they draw moisture out of They're just like any other chapstick. Um, the flavors, uh, I've noticed like with some brands like the flavors from their products like don't really vary. Like when I saw these I was like I mean are they gonna kind of smell the same or whatever but they really don't. They smell completely different and um, I've noticed even just from every color, um, I can tell a little bit of a difference in the product, actually. Um, I've really noticed that the best one is this little red one. Um, I feel like this one, I don't know why, I feel like it just, like, I feel like it's the most moisturizing out of all of them. I don't know why. I think it's maybe just the formula, and then these three are all the same. I'm not saying that these three aren't moisturizing, I'm just saying that this one's 
is a little bit better than the other ones. Sorry, I was trying to fix my lighting and I think it's like a little bit better over here. But anyway, um, so overall, like, I guess if I had to rate these, like, out of a 10 for chapsticks or whatever, I'd give them like a 9. Just because I think the packaging's cute, I think that the whole cruelty-free, paraben-free stuff is really good. The price is affordable. I feel like they're like $3.95. I feel like they're like a little bit under $4. Um, I'm sure they vary from place to place, but um, I got these at Ulta and at Walgreens. I think that this is a really great product, and I don't really understand why some people, you know, they um, do those videos like Why the Hype or whatever I think it's called. Um, like, why are these like so like loved and stuff by so many people, and I don't understand why this is on some of those. Um, because I think that they're really good. So I hope you guys go out and try these because I think they're just something like cute and um, I don't know. And how cool does that look when you're like, not put on a little two bullet chapstick, but you're going to put on a ball of chapstick. I was going to, Bible, I was going to say that, but I thought you were going to laugh at no. me. Okay, and another thing, Kaylee just said it because she's right here. If you guys can tell, this is at her house. Um. I was thinking it in my head and I was going to say it, but I thought that it was loserish, but then she said it. Okay, honestly, like, before I got these, if I would have seen someone in class, like, pull this out and put it on, I'd been, first of all, what are they doing? Because it looks like an Easter egg. Like, why are you putting an Easter egg on your lips? And then I would have been, like, once I figured out what it was, I would have honestly been jealous of them. Like, who? Okay, you take a little tube of, like, Blistex out. You don't look cool if you're putting Blistex on, you know what I mean? But you have, like, some little ball of, like, cuteness that you're, like, putting on your lips or something. I don't know. I just think it's a lot cuter to put on your lips. And maybe it'll attract some guys or girls if you're a guy. I've never seen a guy use these. But, oh, and also another thing, you can juggle with them. What are your favorites? What's the green one again? I'm pretty sure the green one's going to win. Yeah, the green one does win. The green one is her favorite. What's your second favorite? The gum. The blue or yellow one. What's the other one? She doesn't really like the red one as much as all the other ones. It's okay. She says it's okay. Overall, do they smell gross? No. They don't smell gross. So. The red them just like chapstick. They should just flavor chapstick. This stuff does taste... Okay, the minty stuff tastes like mint. Like, tastes like mint on your lips. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it, but it's paraben-free, so... I throw it at you. What are parabens? I don't know. Bad things. You put it on your dog. I don't know if you can put it on your dog. It's cruelty free, so you might as well. Why do dogs have straight teeth? Honestly. Like, seriously, why do dogs have straight teeth? And they don't brush them either. Like, if I didn't brush my teeth. It's like her teeth are white, the first four. Lindsay. Come here. Come like, here. seriously. Lindsay. Her teeth are white. <laughs> White teeth. See? They're white! Winnie. What's up with that? I don't know. You're not going to eat Winnie one of those. Winnie Winnie okay, so okay, anyway. Put it on her lips. On video. Lenny. Someone get it done. See the cruelty baby? Oh, Ninny. I just put the green one on her lips. Does Winnie like it? Ooh. She Winnie. likes it. <laughs> to put it on dogs. Okay, anyway, I'm running in a room under my camera. By the way, I'm sorry I haven't been making videos a lot. I'm sorry also it's like in a small, I don't know if it's going to be, but I hate it when they're in a small box, like there's black. Oh, kissed your mom and it smells good. <laughs> Lenny. Oh, Keely just kissed her and it smells good. So, I mean, if your boyfriend's going to kiss you, or if your girlfriend, you know, so it's a plus. Anyway, I uh, I'm stuttering like a mad one. Okay, anyway, I think that these... Let me hold them all, because that just looks cooler. Anyway, I think that these little guys are really cool. I think they need to come up with more flavors. Um, but I really like them. Um, by the way, I, anyway, I'm sorry. I haven't been making videos a lot. I'm sorry that the quality isn't that good, but... I'm going to get a new camera. Soon. Hopefully. Um... And also, I'm sorry about the lighting and everything, and probably that I look gross. I had soccer today, and uh, it was my last soccer game ever, minus gym class. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go because I have, like, no more room on this camera because I just don't. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.